Between the three of you, quick fire synopsis of Rigoletto. Huh? Nose goes. What? <laughs> Are you serious? How dare you? How dare you both? You gotta listen. So, Rigoletto, where to begin? I'll start with my character. Uh, he, the Duke, is uh, the problem. He's the problem in the entire show, actually. He's always after another conquest, and the current one at the moment is our Gilda here. And uh, it turns out it's Rigoletto's daughter. Yeah, Rigoletto, he gets caught up in this idea of the vengeance of this uh, maledizione, this, this curse that has been put on him. That obsession with it kind of begins to cause some of the downfall in and of itself. He becomes obsessed with vengeance against me after I've had my time with, with Gilda. And that leads him down a dark path that ends up getting Gilda. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Oh my gosh. Was I not supposed to say that? <laughs> oh, speaking of the curse. Okay. Yes, I am the curse. I come in, the voice of thunder, if you will, and uh, I see my daughter at this brothel. I come in and I curse the Duke and Rigoletto, and then I'm dragged off. I'll just leave it at that. Mm. Mm, some mystery to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so poor Gilda is kind of caught in the crossfire here. She is Rigoletto's daughter. Rigoletto's working in the court of the Duke. But of course, she doesn't know that. She doesn't know anything. And so when she happens to cross paths at church, of course, with the Duke. Because I'm pious. Pious, we'll put that in quotes. <laughs> um, she quickly falls in love and um, takes her into a rough spot where she's abducted. And things end up very sad for this sweet child. In defense of the Duke, though, it wasn't the Duke's idea to abduct anybody. So there we go. Simply put, that's your Glenda the Opera. <laughs> <laughs>